Electric vehicles are the definition of fun today. We will try to prove this to you by showcasing a lineup of the newest EVs with unlimited entertainment potential. Off-road scooters, trikes, motorcycles, bicycles, and even snowmobiles. We've got them all. So subscribe to the channel and get excited about the electric future. Let's get technical. Created by the Latvian Global Wolf Vehicles in cooperation with the Federation of Security and Defense Industries, the Mus Sphera e-scooter was developed to fit the needs of special forces, patrols, and border controls. For this reason, it can easily conquer different terrains and can provide an effective mobility solution within airports and military bases. The Scoot is built on a tubular space frame, has MTB-inspired design, and is able to reach 62 miles per hour speeds. Its hub motor peaks at 6 kilowatts. One battery is good for 93 miles of range, plus you can add a second pack extending the max travel to 186 miles. The two-wheeler gets a full suspension setup, rides either on off-road or urban tires, and offers both military and civilian versions. Big city dwellers looking for a maneuverability, parking benefits, and low maintenance costs have almost no options but buying a two-wheeler. The Poland-based startup addressed this gap by designing a one-plus-one electric vehicle that provides all of the benefits of a scooter but adds a stability of four wheels and the car-like comfort of a fully enclosed waterproof body. However, the Trigo's key features is its foldable suspension, which can retract the wheels into the body, reducing the vehicle's width from 58 to less than 34 inches. This allows to rapidly zip through traffic jams at maximum speed of 22 miles per hour. In the full-width road mode, two electric motors propel the Trigo to 56 miles per hour. Supposedly, electric vehicles have troubles operating at cold temperatures and their range significantly diminishes during winters. However, the Canadian company Tega Motors proves that even snowmobiles can have an electric heart. Their in-house development single ratio composite belt drivetrain requires no maintenance, can produce peak power at any altitude and is safe to use in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees with only a 10% loss of battery charge. The Tegan lineup is represented across all major sledge classes. The Atlas is an all-terrain crossover flagship, the Echo is a middle ground model, and the Nomad is a utility touring hybrid. Their specifications vary from 60 to 88 miles of range, 90 through 180 horsepower, and the instant torque ensures unbeatable 0 to 60 acceleration as fast as 2.9 seconds. All of these advanced electric systems are fully adjustable and are paired with an optimized suspension system, double wishbone up front, and rad U multi-link in the rear. Headquartered in Austin, Volcon has created a true Texan vehicle. This one that can enhance your outdoor experience and get the job done when needed. The Grunt is a rugged electric motorcycle with an eco arc frame designed and nearly indestructible cast aluminum swing arm. It rides on knobby tires that measures 26 by 8 by 12 inches and offers 12 inches of ground clearance. The Grunt gets an IP67 waterproof electric motor that peaks at 50 horses, 75 pound feet, and comes paired with a swappable battery pack good for up to 100 miles. The e-bike gets three riding modes, speeds to 60 miles per hour, and takes six seconds to accelerate to this maximum velocity. By the way, in 2021, the lineup of Volcon was expanded with a children's version of the motorbike named Runt that is about a third as capable, plus the company plans to enter the production of electric side-by-sides labeled Stag and Beast. The automotive world labels its most powerful and expensive representative as hypercars. Following the same name logic, the London-based transportation company D-Fly Group carries the term over to the segment of electric scooters to describe their first stand-up model. The Dragonfly hyperscooter changes micro-mobility with its innovative three- or four-wheel construction, patent-pending full-tilt steering technology, and convenient fold-and-stand design. 
The model is brought in motion with a dual motor powertrain that yields 1800 watts and allows to reach 38 miles per hour speeds. The Dragonfly can cover 28 and a half miles on a charge and ensures the comfort and safety of your trip with traction control, all wheel suspension, informative 4.5 inch 4K display and full LED lighting with turn signals. Positioned between a buffed all-terrain scooter and a fully-fledged ATV, the Easy Rider is an extreme four-wheel off-roader that can be used as a stand-up or a sit-down model. This adventure machine is offered in three modifications, LW, HD2, and HD4, differing in size, payload capacity, range, and a number of motors. All are built around a lightweight tubular frame with a 360-degree floating suspension that offers unbelievable travel of 19.6 inches front and rear. The LW and HD2 get two brushless hub motors, while HD4 has four motors, powering its four wheels. The LW is rated for 22 miles per hour and 25 miles on a charge, while the other two scooters promise 28 miles per hour and 50 miles. This combination of a single-person watercraft, a hoverboard, and a hydrofoil is not a crazy invention from some computer game. Rather, it's the latest reminder that future is already here. Simply put, the Hydro Flyer is a V-shaped surfboard with a handlebar on top that's powered by electric duct propulsion system. Using the handlebar, the rider activates the e-motor, and once the watercraft speed exceeds 5 miles per hour, the Hydro Flyer lifts for several feet above water. In this mode, it can reach 34 miles per hour top speeds. Overall, the 2.4 kilowatt hour battery will last up to two hours or approximately 25 miles of range at cruising speed, while recharging takes just three hours from a home outlet. Originally funded via a Kickstarter campaign, the California-based company Cycleboard has grown into a formidable business with distinctive three-board models. All share the brand's signature three-wheeler design and foldable construction. The second-generation Rover is the most capable model in the lineup that is brought in motion by a 1,800-watt motor with five-speed settings. With its help, the scooter can reach 27 miles per hour speeds and climb 30-degree hills. The model gets an independent front suspension, a dual spring rear suspension, and three wheels with fat 10-inch tires, so it's designed for riding in mixed terrain conditions. On a paved street, the rover can travel up to 40 miles on a charge. Mobility scooters do not have to be limited to the pavements alone, and this is clearly proven by the all-new Boomer Beast 2D. Its unique all-wheel drive drivetrain opens up possibilities to drive on dirt, snow, and sand with a range up to 30 miles on the regular model and 60 for the deluxe. One more important difference between the two modifications is the battery type. The former is juiced by a lead-acid unit with 400 recharge cycles, while the upper trim gets a proper lithium-ion pack with 1,000 cycles. This three-wheeled scooter gets two motors rated for 500 watts of continuous output or 3 kilowatts of combined peak efforts. The max payload for the Boomer Beast 2D is 330 pounds, so the rider can carry some extra groceries on the rear rack while sitting on a comfy adjustable seat with armrests. The Oregon-based creator of the world's first fun utility vehicle is expanding to a new niche with its Roadster model. Built on the same three-wheeler platform as other EVs from the brand, it loses the roof portion, gets a new squat windshield, and features tandem seating. The Roadster comes powered by a twin-motor front-wheel drive system that produces 77 horses and ensures riding at 75 miles per hour with ease. 
as these performance levels expect some 30 miles of adventuring. But if you decide to limit your exploration to city grounds and speeds, the model promises up to 100 miles on a charge. Standard features include reliable hydraulic brakes with regeneration, Bluetooth speaker, and heated grips, while at the rear, the Roadster also offers generous space for your cargo. As always, we encourage you to participate in the conversation below the video and discuss the presented lineup. Which EV is your favorite and did we miss any other high quality units? Like this episode, subscribe to the channel and continue your exploration of the electric world by following the links on the screen. See you soon.